From artificial limbs to floating cities, here are 12 amazing scientific advancements happening right now. Number 12, 3D printing organs. 3D printing has been around for a few years now, but it just recently made breakthroughs bigger than cars or phone cases or toys that have been created before. The 3D printer has started creating organs for human use. Sure, prosthetics are understandable, but organs? Research is currently being conducted on artificial heart, kidney, and liver structures, as well as other major organs. Organs like the heart will be tougher, but it is definitely possible. Can you imagine being the person that kept organs in stock? Checking your list, okay, I need to print three kidneys and four livers today. The reason the 3D printing works so well is that organs are very complicated and the machine does a layer by layer scan of an actual organ. This allows them to give a very detailed printout. Crazy? Yes, but not as crazy as the ability to print out human skin. Now that craziness is happening as we speak. This can be to repair damaged skin or for purely cosmetic reasons. Number 11, needleless vaccines. What is your least favorite part of getting flu shots? Oh yeah, the shot. The needle that pierces your skin and stings. This new invention called the Immunomatrix patch will allow you to vaccinate yourself with a simple band-aid-like patch. This isn't just great because it's painless, but it has even greater benefits. One, it takes a tenth of the vaccine that the syringe does, which saves tons of money. And two, it doesn't require the glass vial, syringes, hypodermic needles, trained medical personnel, and biohazardous waste disposal. So again, it saves tons and tons of money and resources. Can you imagine it being flu season and you just going to town to pick up your flu patch and adhering it at home? Dream big and realistically, this is happening. Number 10, endless storage. You know how a terabyte is really big? Well, what about a million terabytes? Maybe a trillion? Okay, now imagine an endless amount of storage. Scientists at the University of Southampton have created and are working on advances with this technology. Not only will this device store endless info, but it is pretty much invincible to damage. It is made out of nanostructured glass and has the ability to record and retrieve five-dimensional digital data by femtosecond laser writing. As for right now, it can only hold about 360 terabytes, but things are quickly escalating. It can go through almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and will last longer than anyone on this planet, except maybe the tardigrade. The technology isn't for public use yet because it is reserved for preserving historical documents first, since it can hold an entire library of books. They have already stored actual copies of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Newton's Optics, the Magna Carta, and King James Bible. Number 9. Wall Climbing Fish Ever seen a spider climb a wall? What about a monkey? Hmm, well, what about a wall climbing fish? In the Amazon rainforest, just recently, a wall climbing fish has been discovered. This may not seem like a scientific advancement, but in reality, it means everything. This isn't the only thing odd about these fish, who were oddly enough born in caves, only they could see and were colorless. This Ecuadorian fish defies gravity as it hikes up a nearly vertical wall for 10 feet. It's called a Chaotostoma microps and is a sucker mouth armored catfish. You've seen suckerfish climb underwater, but out of the water is a whole new thing. Scientists are ecstatic to study the technique and maybe use it to create wall climbing gear for engineers. Another thing that makes this discovery an advancement is that it has never been seen in this exact way before, meaning it has either learned the ability on its own as a species, or there are still many more species still undiscovered by scientists. Number 8. Cybernetic Implants the term cyberware is a pretty new field for scientists. Sure, the first pacer was implanted in the 1950s, but that was such a small advancement compared to today. We already have an artificial pancreas for diabetics. As of now, it is simply a pod implanted into the skin by the wearer, and it pumps insulin into their body. But you see, there are two types of cyberware today, brainware and bodyware. You know the data jack from the Matrix? 
yeah, like that. It's very hard to implant, but it can be put into the user's brain for various reasons. In time, it would be able to upload thoughts to a PC or to other people's brainware. This would literally give us all telekinesis. It would also allow us to control things with our mind with simple thoughts, as if our minds were Alexa. The other type of cyberware is bodyware, and it is much more simple as it works with muscles rather than brainwaves. It has been proven to allow those with prosthetics to easily control their new limbs. Isn't that amazing? Number seven, stem cell transplants. We've had stem cell transplants for decades, especially for cancer patients. But over the last few years, great advances have been made that could change the entire world as we know it. Let's look at the bone marrow transplant. This process takes healthy blood stem cells from relatives that have a similar DNA pattern and infuses them with the damaged cells, replacing them altogether. This is often a necessary move in cancer patients whose bone marrow stops working. In recent years, advancements have been made to allow this transplant to take place in patients with diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, stroke victims, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, osteoporosis, learning disabilities, spinal cord injuries, and other conditions even things as simple as deafness and baldness. This may even be able to be done via artificial stem cells. That is an advancement in itself, or even greater, a cloning of healthy stem cells to culture in a lab ready for use. Number six, from gas to solids. Have you ever seen scientists turn gas into a solid? Well, no one else had until just recently either. What they are doing now is taking carbon dioxide and injecting volcanic basalt rock with pressurized liquid CO2. By letting the natural chemical reactions do their work, they end up with real stone. This is no small process though, as it takes two years to achieve. But despite what you may believe, this is a great advancement for one particular reason. Tons of CO2 is being pumped into the air. In time, this could kill us, but if we turn it into stone, it could just save humanity from extinction. The US Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory is working on both a way to dissolve the CO2 gas into Icelandic water and inject it into the ground to turn it to stone. Number five, wireless electricity. Wireless electricity isn't exactly new, but how amazing is it that new advancements are being made to this day? We know that wireless light bulbs are possible, so that means that the possibilities are nearly limitless. Pretty soon, everyone will be charging their phones in their pockets. This is due to what we know as wireless power transfer and is the transmission of electrical energy without wires. Plus, it's way safer. I mean, no more hair dryer bathtub incidents. You know how Wi-Fi gives you internet without an ethernet cable or DSL? Well, that's the exact same technology used in wireless power transfer. In a few short years, cords and wires will be a thing of the past. In reality, there will be invisible waves of electrical energy connecting us all. We will live in an electric current of technology connecting us in a way we never thought possible. Number four, growing rat limb. Prosthetic limbs have made amazing advancements the last few years, but did you know that the line between biological and prosthetic is thinning every day? Regenerative scientists have proven this by growing a complete rat limb in a lab in Massachusetts General Hospital. The limb could move and functioned almost as well as a natural limb. While it was natural, just the process that got it there was not. Scientists took a forelimb from a rat and stripped away every living cell except the collagen that gives muscles and tendons their shape. Then they took cells from a different rat and placed the limb in a bioreactor to nourish it for around three weeks. This stimulated the muscles with electricity, which made the paw clench and unclench. Growing limbs is much harder than growing organs because they have many different kinds of cells. Discover Magazine reports that in the future, cells would be taken from the recipient themselves. In many transplant cases, the body will reject the unfamiliar hand or organ, so the patient needs immunosuppressive therapy for the rest of their life. If the cells were taken from the recipient themselves, the risk of rejection would be much lower, and essentially people could grow their own limbs back. It will be at least 10 years before biolimbs will be ready for human testing, but science is on its way. Number three, medical tattoos. I'm not talking about tattoos that cover scars, warn people of an allergy, or a dog tag of sorts. I'm talking about something revolutionary. What if everything that you go to the doctor for could be sent directly to them instantly? 
and all you had to do was get a temporary tattoo. With diabetic pods and Fitbits, the instant info for doctors is becoming fairly easy, but a new biometric tattoo could transmit medical information discreetly at all times. It uses radio frequency identification chips that are implanted under the skin. These would probably be implanted in permanent tattoos in the future, but as for right now, they are simply temporary tattoos that are replaced every five days. They will be able to measure perspiration, heart rate, and perhaps soon, call an ambulance, measure blood sugar, blood pressure, and more. The best part is you can give your doctor a direct link to anything that goes on so they can wirelessly monitor you. Number two, solar power. Solar power is pretty ancient, and it would seem that we want to leave it in the past. But due to the energy saved when using energy that is so plentiful and natural from the sun, we really want to get back to that. You see, recently, scientists have been trying to amp up the solar power. There are a few reasons for this. Aside from saving energy, you're also saving money. No electric bill. Then there's the bigger break, tax-free energy. In time, everyone will be using solar-powered PCs, smart homes, lighting, and so much more. They have even created entire multi-billion dollar solar-powered factories in recent years. May not be cool yet, but go for it now, you hipster. Buy something solar-powered. It's the way of the future. Number one, floating cities. If you thought floating cities were just for science fiction, think again. These are currently being turned into science fact. The world's first floating city will be set near Tahiti and is being planned today. The Sea Studying Institute will begin construction very shortly. This would be the perfect answer to natural disasters and so many more problems, such as curing diseases, poverty, and cleaning the atmosphere. Plus, it's really cool. Designers say if we can be behind a reef break, then we can design floating platforms that are sufficient for those waters at an affordable cost. Construction will begin in 2019, and by 2050, it is expected that tens of millions of residents will live in this new water world metropolis. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!